I have been eating so trash, and so here's my little veggie concoction I'm about to wash and roast up so that I can get my nutrients. Cause and that's I, why she keep getting sick, cause she eats trash. <laughs> I have been eating trashy, and I do feel sick, so I need to get back back on my stuff. It's like my third time being sick within the past like three months. Like every month, I'm sick. <laughs> it also is partly my fault, cause my immune system needs veggies and all that so i need to get back on it so i'm gonna wash these cut them up roast them and i got me a little orange mom's making some noki not gucci noki pasta <laughs> not gucci <laughs> and yeah All right, I got these two big trays, so colorful. Mm, I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to put some olive oil on them and season them up. You know, you can't forget the seasonings, girl. Can't forget the seasonings. So that's what makes it, you know, yummy and delicious. And it's so pretty, I'm so excited. All right, so I got them all out. They got a little crispy, but that's kind of how I like it. You know, it looks so good. All right, and here's the final plate. Um, I put some sriracha mayo on it. Y'all, I put this on literally everything. It's so good. But um, yeah, I got my sriracha mayo and my veggies and some rice. And I'm just going to wait for... I ordered a terrarium kit package um, so I can build some terrariums for some family and friends. So... I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna eat this and wait for that to come and then I'll unpack that and show you all of that. So yeah. All right, so I'm finally opening the package. It's from a company called Cute Farms. Here's what the inside looks like. They sent me some cute little stickers, some care guides, um, and yeah, they gave me all the ingredients that I needed, including the moss, some vermiculite, and some potting soil. They even threw in some succulent plant food for me. They threw in a little dusting brush, and they even had these cute little dinosaur toys. Honestly, I was more excited because of the packaging. All right, so I first started with filling the terrariums with vermiculite. I honestly underestimated the size of the uh, cacti that I got for these. As you can see in the next clip, um, they were a little too big for the small terrariums, and so I had to readjust some things and have a lot of do-overs throughout the process. Here I am just adding in the soil making sure that it's all evenly distributed and um, that it looks somewhat decent from the outside. Now I'm just kind of sizing up the cacti for the terrarium and trying to figure out how in the heck I'm gonna fit this thing in this small <laughs> terrarium. As you can see, I'm starting to cut down some of the uh, little pokey parts of it. I don't know what they're called, but um, that was just to kind of dull them down so that I wasn't stabbing myself while I'm like trying to fit this in here. But I eventually figured out that it looked best vertically and standing up that way. And therefore I had to kind of readjust um, how I had the vermiculite in the soil placed in there. <laughs> Just readjusting as much as I can and um, I'm definitely making a huge mess <laughs> but I'm trying this is my very first terrarium that I ever did so I'm learning as I go now that I have the soil and the vermiculite all even I'm adding in some moss and the moss acts kind of like a water distributor and also um, decoration, in my opinion. 
it just tops everything off it looks so pretty and makes everything look so green and natural the moss is also an indicator of hydration um, by looking at the color you can kind of tell when it needs watering or if it's still hydrated enough this moss was pretty green but I still wanted to add some spritz to the terrarium and just make sure that it had an initial watering before I added in the cactus. I was very careful to place the roots inside of the terrarium. Um, I really wanted those to be buried in like deep inside the moss. I'm adjusting some placements through the side hole and yeah I'm just trying to make sure that the roots are able to get some water. Succulents typically can last a pretty long time without water um, but I still don't want the roots to dry out because this is an open terrarium and or partially open terrarium and they can dry out really fast. Overall, I still think that it looks so cute once I was finished with it. I also made another one and I put my avocado seedling in there. Um, well, not really a seedling at this point. It's growing super long roots. Um, but yeah, I think that that looks super cute in there. And I love how this one turned out as well.